Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today at the Mayor's Press Conference. I want to thank our council members, our Democratic PA, and that with us as well. Today we're going to announce one of the largest paving projects in this of Irvington today. Along with other projects, let's move our township forward towards our Safe and Clean initiative. It gives me my great pleasure to introduce Honorable Mayor Tony Boss. You know, it's a special day here in the township of Irvington as we look to improve the quality of life for all of our residents. When we talk about safe and clean, it's a major, major accomplishment for us to be doing such a huge project. But it's not all about the mayor. It's about all the department heads, the council members, and everyone working together to make sure we provide the type of services and the quality of life that we need to for our residents here in the township of Burlington. I would like to introduce the president of the municipal council, Councilman David Lyons. This kind of paving undertaking has not taken place probably since uh, Irvington was, was born. And some of these streets have not been paved in 20 or 30 years. And we're talking about 25 to 30 streets, I think. And the citizens of Irvington deserve it. This project is proof positive that we intend to deliver on our promises to make Irvington clean, safe, and make the roadway, roadways in Irvington decent to drive on. This is the first installment of a long list of things that we're going to be doing together here in the township of Irvington to move the township forward. Good evening, everyone. As you look behind me and above, you see that the sun is shining and warm because it's a great day today in Irvington. I would like to first of all thank our honorable mayor, Tony Ross, for making sure that Irvington moves forward. There's so many things that we're doing here in the Township of Irvington, and to discuss those projects, as well as this road resurfacing project, I want to bring up the Director of Public Works, Mr. Jamel Holland. It's just not about road resurfacing. It's about the infrastructure that is underneath uh, the grounds and the roads. Uh, we've teamed up and partnered with PSCNG, who will be uh, replacing all the cast iron uh, piping that is underneath the ground, it's about 75 to 100 years old. Uh, they'll be replacing those with uh, 15 foot plastic pipes, uh, which will be an increase in uh, heating in the winter time uh, for our residents and upgrading all the systems uh, underneath the ground. That is a, uh, a year project, uh, but we have already begun that project uh, starting now. We started on Eastern Parkway with PSCNG and American Water. Again, it's about 53 streets uh, throughout the township. Every ward will be, will be covered. Every council person will be represented. Uh, council members have submitted uh, streets to the department, uh, which we reviewed. In addition, it's uh, going to encompass as well road resurfacing along with new curbing and sidewalks so that when you walk down the street and you look down the street, it will be very uniform. In the past, all we did was just road resurfacing, but in order to bring uniformity to these neighborhoods and upgrade the neighborhoods, we will be doing sidewalks as well as apron, aprons. In addition, uh, cutting down trees uh, where necessary and restoring those trees uh, to bring back the environment in those neighborhoods. We want to thank also the County of Essex uh, for their partnership with the paving of several roads in the, in the township that are county roads, as well as we're going to be embarking on a streetscape uh, on Springfield Avenue uh, due to county funding. So we want to just thank all our partners, thank the mayor, thank again the council members, my fellow directors, American Water, PSCNG, and the County of Essex. When you have those types of partnerships, you build the better communities. And we're just thankful that our department was able to just come together on all these different entities to ensure that we bring the best service and quality of life to the residents of Urban. This is not all we're doing. So we're doing some parks. The task was um, given in 2014. The mayor made a commitment in making sure that um, the bandit and vacant properties here in the township of Irvington uh, will be torn down. We have made great strides. I'm going to allow Green Honor to talk about what our initiative is going forward. Um, he's the assistant director of housing. He will give a brief summary of where we at in terms of our uh, vacant property for demolition. Good afternoon. 
one of the things that I'm very proud about is that the accomplishments that in, in terms of looking at looking at properties that we should remove or demolish throughout the township. Um, and the mayor gave us a real serious task and said we want you to go out and identify every property that we need to look at in terms of either it needs to be slave for redevelopment or demolition. So in doing that, we came up with removal of eight properties so far this year, um, another 26 last year, the last two years, and we're looking at another 16 to have slated for demolition this year. So these are very aggressive steps, um, not only looking at just the, the process of demolishing properties, but looking at the hope that it brings back to the community when you've been living next to a property that's been totally compromised with break-ins, um, fires, um, vandalism, squatters, and this will also improve the quality of life in these neighborhoods. And looking at the development that the mayor has been pushing for new developments to come in, uh, repurpose the land, and also resurrect the township of Irvington. So as that, that great saying goes, as the phoenix, we burn, then we rise. And the city and the township of Irvington is on the rise. And because of our uniformity of everybody working together, as a unit, moving this township forward, we have been able to renovate and almost finish renovating the Chris Gatlin Center on 285 Union Avenue. We're thankful for your leadership, your persistency in getting the work done, and we are happy about our mayor moving this township forward, making it clean, making it safe for our residents in the township of Earth.
Um, in addition to that, they've increased some of their efficiencies. Um, we've had a certain number of um, criminal cases that were filed. All of those cases that were filed recently within the last month were disposed of as well at the same time. So there's no additional backlog that's been increasing in our municipal court. And um, something was mentioned by the public safety director as well. We consolidated that department to increase efficiencies, and that's been part of what's led to the reduction in crime. So overall, we're doing everything that we can to assist our residents. In addition to providing you with additional services, and are services without increasing taxes, which I know is the most important thing for the mayor and the most important thing for the residents. So thank you. Today I'm going to hear because we started the 2015 Public Services Project. In addition to the 2015 Public Services Project, we have nine avenues of card plays that's on our schedule. Those will be signed shortly as the town engineer has said. Um, I would also like to thank our council members that have worked diligently on this project. And we are currently working on a bond ordinance to add additional paving to the 
sits on Springfield Avenue, a very big commercial uh, area for the, the township. From the down, Taco Bell is coming. Back towards the south of us, we have the hospital. Everybody's aware of what's going on there. And uh, we also are going further south. We have activity happening at the, uh, the Rite Aid lot. People know that lot by the picket fence with a nice grassy cut. Uh, we expect to see a uh, gym in that location. That's all on our books. And the land is owned and it's paying quarterly taxes. By my reckoning, we're about, uh, with this new development, about $500,000 in revenues coming into our treasury because of this private development. So, Mayor, I'm, I'm elated. So, as you can see, the township of Burlington, the township that's on the move, I want to thank everybody for participating today. We're going to start our projects here, our road resurfacing project uh, this week. Well, we started with Headley Terrace here, right off Springfield Avenue. And we're going to move through these other 53 streets and try to have those done this year. Thank you. God bless you. And if you have any questions, any concerns, please reach out to us. We'll answer any of your questions. Thank you. God bless.